Are your games stuck at 10 FPS, crashing constantly, or showing a black screen on emulators like Yuzu, RPCSX, or Vita 3K? Don't rush to blame the emulator because in many cases, it's actually your GPU driver that's holding everything back. With the right custom driver, you can dramatically improve game compatibility, boost FPS, and enjoy ultra-smooth graphics. In this video, I'll explain exactly what a GPU driver is, why it plays such a big role in emulation, and how to install the best one for your Android device. A GPU driver acts like a translator between your phone's graphics hardware and your apps, including emulators. If the driver isn't compatible or optimized, your games might lag, crash, or display broken visuals. That's why custom drivers like Turnip are so valuable they unlock the full power of your phone's graphics, making games run faster and look better. Most Android phones come with stock GPU drivers that are good enough for basic tasks, but not designed for emulation. Stock drivers often fail in emulators because they lack support for key Vulkan features. These features are crucial for high-end 3D rendering and performance. For instance, Yuzu depends on Vulkan extensions like VKEXT Graphics Pipeline Library to compile shaders quickly and run games efficiently. Without these features, games may not launch or will run with terrible frame rates and graphical glitches. This is where Turnip changes everything. The Adreno Tools Drivers project is your one-stop source for the latest custom GPU drivers built for emulation. This GitHub repo compiles and publishes up-to-date Turnip drivers, Mesa Vulkan, and official Adreno Blob drivers specifically tailored for Adreno GPUs on Snapdragon devices. These drivers dramatically boost performance in emulators like Yuzu, RPCSX, and Vita 3K fixing crashes, improving FPS, and enabling advanced rendering support. If you want smoother gameplay and maximum compatibility, Adreno Tools Drivers is where you start. The performance improvements with Turnip are real and measurable. In the Eden Fork of Yuzu, games like Breath of the Wild jump from 25 FPS to 40 FPS with smoother gameplay and faster shader compilation. RPCSX becomes more stable, allowing games like Persona 5 and God of War 3 to run properly without crashing. Even Vita 3K sees significant benefits, making the Vulkan backend usable for demanding titles like Shadow of the Colossus. These are the kinds of results you can't get with a stock driver. To use Turnip, your device needs a few things. A Snapdragon processor, an Adreno GPU, and support for Vulkan 1.3. Unfortunately, Turnip does not support Mali GPUs, which are found in many Exynos and MediaTek-based phones. If you're unsure, some of the most popular supported phones include the Poco F3 and X3 Pro, OnePlus 7 through 9 series, Pixel 4, 5, and 6 Snapdragon versions, Galaxy S20 and S21 Snapdragon models, and Asus ROG phones. To sum it all up, your GPU driver directly impacts how well your emulator runs. Turnip unlocks Vulkan 1.3 features that massively improve performance, graphics, and stability. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more emulator guides and performance tips.